Hi everyone, it's Janice from The Reading Train. This story is called Why Should I Share? by Claire Llewellyn, illustrated by Mike Gordon. Mom was angry with me this morning. It was all about me not sharing. I want to turn. It's mine. First, I wouldn't share the hose. Isn't it time Jack had a turn with the hose? Then I wouldn't share the yo-yo. Let Jack have a turn now, Tim. And then I wouldn't share the cherries. Tim, share those cherries with Jack. They're for both of you. Share, share, share. Why should I share? Mom said sharing is a kind thing to do. It shows that you are thinking about other people and not just about yourself. She said, what do you think will happen if you don't share your toys? No one will ever want to play with you. And guess what will happen if you don't share snacks? Your friends won't like you anymore. And what do you think will happen if you're mean to Jack and won't let him play with the yo-yo? I'll take it away and then nobody will have any fun. Hmm. I was so mad I went next door to see the twins. Kay and Kathy are my best friends. They told me they had grown up sharing. They said sharing made things more fun. The three of us played together all afternoon, and I began to see what they meant. Sharing was more fun and friendlier, too. Sharing can make things a whole lot better. I mean, what's the point of having a brand new Frisbee if you don't share it with a friend? And although it's great to have your own special pet, it's twice as good to share them with your friends. Sharing can also be useful. Some people share things now and then. Others share them all the time. I thought I could try a bit harder to share. After lunch, I was listening to my headphones and Jack was feeling left out. So I said, here, you can listen too. Oh, Tim, that's so sweet of you to share. Sharing is friendly and makes people happy. And there's another good thing about it too. Once you learn to share with others, they just might learn to share with you.